Here is our situation. You have written calls at 12.50 p.m. and you have made minimal profits. You are thinking if you should book your profits or not. The time is 1.15 and you are still wondering how the rest of the market is behaving. Are they selling more calls or are they unwinding calls? You basically want to understand the sentiment of the market so you come to the open interest page to see the activity. Now you want to quickly compare how the open interest has changed in the last one hour. How do you do that? You can do this with ease with the new sensible open interest page with more charts, more data points and a really cool way of tracking intraday market activity. We are here with the new remodeled version of open interest charts. Going forward, you will be able to track open interest, OI change, OI over a period of time and future OI over a period of time side by side. You can easily switch between these charts like this. Also, you can view the change in open interest at intraday level or for a given time frame. You can select a time period and see how the open interest has changed in that particular period. To do that, all you have to do is select between intraday and custom range and select the from and to date and you will be able to see the change in open interest for that period like this. This will help you get an understanding of how the market has behaved on specific days. Earlier, you were able to track this from one expiry to another, but now you can track the market activity for any time frame and get a hold of the market. Going forward, you will also be able to track open interest activity for multiple expiries at all times. For example, earlier in Nifty, you were able to track the open interest only for the current and the next week or the current or next monthly expiry. You were not able to do both at the same time. But from now, you can track the open interest of Nifty for two weekly and two monthly expiries all at the same time if you wish to. The same applies to Bank Nifty and Fin Nifty. Now let me ask you something. Let's say you want to track the open interest of Nifty between around 2.30 pm and 3.15 pm. How do you do it? You can do that with custom time selector here. You can select any time period in a day you want and can see OI change for the same. From now on, you can also see the price of that stock at the start and end of that specific time frame over here. Now coming to the biggest and coolest update in the feature. We have added a new show OI button which when enabled will show you how the open interest has changed in real time over our selected time period. As you can see here, the increase and decrease in OI is happening in real time on the open interest bars. You can hover over the bars and see the call and put OI at the start and at the end of the time period. You can refer to the legend here to understand the chart better. So when there is an increase in OI, the solid bar represents the total OI at the start and the shaded bar represents the change or increase in OI and the current OI is sum of the solid bar plus the shaded bar. And when there is a decrease in OI, the top of the polo represents the total OI at the start of the time period and the polo section represents the change or decrease in OI and the current OI is represented by the solid bar here. You can also refer to this tooltip to get a detailed numbers on what was the OI at the start of the time period, what was the OI at the end of the time period and what was the change between these two time periods. And yes, red refers to the call OI and the green refers to put OI. You can pick any time frame from the selector here and see how OI has performed in that time period. You can replay the change by clicking on this replay change button here. With this, at each strike, you can easily identify how much OI has been added or decrease over that selected time period and identify whether the support and resistance levels are building up in the real time. You can compare and track open interest activity for every minute. All you have to do is select a time period and you will be able to see OI at the start of the time period, the increase or decrease in OI activity and the OI activity at the end of that time period. Tracking open interest cannot get easier than this. 
Going on, we have the open interest page where you can track the net open interest activity for an entire day. Here you can see the overall open interest movement in a particular day. You can track overall call OI, put OI, PCR and the closing price of the stock here. Just like the OI change page, you can track the activity for multiple expiries together with the help of this checkbox here. You can also change the strike range and select a number of strikes to be shown on the chart over here. You can see the open interest for any given day by switching between dates over here. Next up is the multi-strike OI page. The multi-strike OI page is nothing but a line representation of OI. This is especially helpful when you are trading intraday and need to keep track of multiple open interests at the same time. As always, to change the underline, you just have to click on this search button right here and enter the name of the underline you wish to see. By default, you will see the most active strikes are automatically selected here. Tracking this view lets you spot unwinding, position shifts and build up in the OI faster. You can also make custom groups by clicking on this button right here. This opens up a panel which is similar to the one you see in the builder from where you can pick your strikes. Now let's look how to switch between time frames on multi-strike OI. On top of the multi-strike OI chart, you can see intervals like 5 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute and 1 day. You can switch between the intervals you want to use by simply clicking on the intervals. You also might have noticed that we show the spot value along with OI as in black line. And if you are someone who wish to use futures pricing instead of the spot, you can switch to futures pricing as the underline by clicking right here. You can also view the multi-strike OI in an intraday time frame by enabling this toggle right here. This gives you a detailed view of how open interest has changed for these strikes on the intraday basis. The next chart shows you the OI activity versus time. Using this chart, you will be able to track how total outstanding OI has changed with time on a daily basis. You can scroll to see historical OI activity. If you have selected current week and the next week here, then on any day, you will see the data for that week and the next week's expiry. For example, if you select current week on Feb 13th, you will see Feb 15th expiries option OI data. And for Feb 6th, you will see Feb 8th expiries option OI data. If you want to see monthly OI, then you can select current month or next month from this checkbox right here. If you want to see which expiries are used on a given date to calculate the total outstanding OI, it is clearly mentioned on the tool tape right here. In this chart, you can see how underline and PCR has moved with respect to time. The black line refers to the moment of the stock and the blue line refers to the moment of PCR. This brings us to the last chart which is future OI versus time chart. Using this chart, you can keep track of how future OI has changed with respect to time. The chart also shows you how the underlying has moved throughout the time frame. You, if you have selected current month and the next month here, then on any day you will see the data for that month and the next month expiry. For example, if you have selected current month on Feb 13th, you will see Feb 29th expiries future OI data and for Jan 19th, you will see the Jan 25th expiries future OI data. And if you want to see which expiries are used on a given date to calculate the total outstanding OI, it is clearly mentioned on the tool dip right here. Most importantly, you can track the OI buildup in the stock over a period of time. As you can see here, the chart clearly shows if that particular day had a long buildup, a short covering, a short buildup or a long unwinding. Now let's understand what these terms are. If future price is up and the future OI is also up, then the market participants are betting the stock will go up and this is known as long buildup. It is represented by dark green color right here. If future price is up, and future OI is down, then the market participants are getting out of their short positions. This is known as short covering. This is represented by light green color here. If future price is down and future OI is up, then the market participants are betting the stock will go down and this is known as short buildup. This is represented by pink color on this chart. And last but not the least, 
if future price is down and future Y is also down, then the market participants are getting out of their longs. And this is known as long unwinding. And this is represented by yellow color on the chart. Also, if you love your charts in dark mode, just like me, you can do that by simply enabling this button right here. So try this feature out now and let us know what do you think of it. The link of this feature is in the description of this video. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.